How's it going everyone? College Lefty and this video is going to be how to unlock 99 overall Justin Verlander. MLB The Show actually tweeted out earlier this morning that you will be able to get him by winning 60 games in this United States of Baseball event. Now the first event is going to be the West uh, leading up till uh, December 1st and then we have the Central uh, the following week so this is split up a little bit it's going to go into January and it does kind of seem like the forever event uh, first thing I wanted to mention is happy Thanksgiving to everyone I want you guys to spend as much time with your family as possible I have the next few days off obviously and I'll be spending some time with my family so I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving I just kind of wanted to mention that at the beginning of this video anyway we do have this brand new event and we also uh, have some brand new rewards there. Nine wins, we get an 85 to 89. 12 wins, you get a 90 to 95. So some of those cards might go down in price. I don't know how many people are going to be playing this event. I will not be able to play 60 games or even get 60 wins, obviously. Um, but this event will be on um, all-star difficulty, six inning games, 99 overall teams from the AL West, the NL West divisions. Quick counts on, which is interesting and the stadium lock is at Coors Field. So these games should be pretty high scoring. Um, there's also one other feature that I kind of want to talk about when we go through the rewards in this event. But I first wanted to kind of mention the Justin Verlander card. If you notice in the previous screenshot, I didn't really have any stubs in my bank. I have a million stub order up for Justin Verlander, but Honestly, they managed to make that card uh, very bad. I don't know why they made him so terrible. We're going to go through uh, some of these rewards. And Cody Bellinger is by far the best one. They also managed to make Jake Arrieta uh, pretty bad as well. I don't understand how these cards kind of uh, translated to this year's game in this way. But we'll take a look at it. Cody Bellinger is without a doubt amazing. Juan Soto is still a better hitter than him as well as a few other finest cards in my opinion but the fact that this card has you know diamond defense good speed and elite hitting attributes he's obviously you know one of the better cards in the game but i still think juan soto is an all-around better hitter than that cody bellinger here we have uh, jake arietta the cy young version and if you take a look at the k per nine uh he's not that good i mean this card is kind of similar in some ways to Oral Hershiser in the pitch selection. He does have a four seam fastball. He doesn't have a cutter. That's really the main difference there, but he does have a hard sinker right around the same attributes in uh, hits and K per nine, less stamina than Oral Hershiser. I just don't know. Uh, That's the first thing I kind of thought about when looking at this card, but when we take a look at his previous year, or I guess the flashback that they took this card from in MLB The Show 17, uh, he didn't really get that many boosts in terms of translation to 125 attributes. He got a plus 15 in hit per nine, about a plus 10 in K per nine, a little bit of boost in stamina. He did get a boost in pitching clutch, of course, but uh, that doesn't really make this card that much better than some other pitchers in the game that we already have currently. Uh, we'll take a look at Justin Verlander. He might be even worse than this Jake Arrieta because of the pitch mix as well as the attributes just really don't match up that well or at least even compare to the signature series card so we'll take a look at uh, his live series as well as the signature from last year i was really excited for justin verlander he's my favorite pitcher of all time and that's why i have a million stub order up for him even though these are his attributes now his secondary best pitch is probably the slider, at least it has been in years past. The 12-6 curveball has, of course, maxed out 99 break. We'll have to take a look at this card on Daddy Leagues to take a look at what his control is for each individual pitch, as well as the break on each individual pitch. But he has increased stamina. This guy was throwing 100 miles an hour in the 8th and ninth inning of games. Him and Clayton Kershaw were the last two players to win MVP as a starting pitcher. And I just don't know how this is the card he gets. Now, he does have some pretty good control or break or both on his fastball, his two-seamer, his uh, changeup, and his 12-6 uh, curveball. Now, we don't know about the slider um, because it's hard to tell. I know his 
12-6 will have 99 break, but here on his live series card, his slider was his best secondary pitch. So we'll have to take a look at that. But when comparing him to the signature series card from MLB The Show 19, they completely got rid of his cutter. I just, I just don't know. That was one of his better pitches or a pitch that made him very good or what could have been very good last year if he had outlier, which in this year's game, he doesn't either. So I do not know... Um, Obviously, last year, you know, we didn't have the outlier quirk in the game, but that was something that I thought about that could make him better in MLB The Show 20, like right away. As soon as we saw that outlier quirk in the game, I immediately thought Justin Verlander. To me, yes, that is some bias there. I'm a Tiger fan. I've watched Verlander my entire life. But even if Justin Verlander isn't your favorite pitcher, I just don't know how we can get excited about this card. Now, I'll still put up a million stub order for him. But honestly, you Darvish, Trevor Bauer, Jacob DeGrom, a couple of those finest players are much better than Verlander. And they have the live series quirks. One thing I'm kind of thinking about is I might take this 1 million sub order down. But there's no way for, for me to get that card unless I'm looking at uh, the rewards in the next event, right? In January, when they might release this event's rewind choice pack once again. Now, this is brand new. To me, I have no idea if this has already been in the game. I have not been able to keep up with a lot of these event rewards, but this is the first time that I've seen this. At 70 wins, you have a chance to earn uh, one of the previous event rewards that's extremely rare, like Goose Gossage. I'm looking, I'm, I'm seeing that here. I mean, one out of one chance at a base round, one out of 10 chance at a 99 or at some of these cards. Now let's take a look at some of these event rewards and maybe determine where the rounds kind of uh, cut off here. So we do have a few 99s here. I think it might be Goose Gossage, Steven Strasburg, Will Clark, uh, the Kirby Yates, maybe Christy Mathewson. I think he would be included there. Um, we'll take a look and scroll through some more of these players, potentially Madison Bumgarner as well at a 98 overall, but that might be the cutoff, honestly. That might be the cutoff for this brand new pack here. Hopefully you guys uh, stayed through and watched to this point in the video so you can see this if you haven't checked it out already in your game. But this to me is completely new. I even kind of, you know, had a double look there. I, I didn't really know for sure. Uh, maybe Michael Kopech would be included. You have a chance to get Matt Manning, who was the last one. So the Tigers have been getting a lot of love recently and we'll scroll through this once again a little bit slower and we'll take a look at uh, some of these players here so not bad i mean 70 wins in this event will get you this brand new pack one of two different draft rounds i just wish they explained this a little bit more thoroughly i didn't see anything about it on social media i do not know if this is brand new at all i i want to say it is because I never have seen anything about it on social media. I feel like if this was already in the game, I think I would have seen it. But we do have this 90 to 95 uh, 12 win streak reward in the event. So this might cause, you know, Jacob DeGrom's live series card to go down a little bit. Mike Trout's live series card to go down a little bit, even though they've already dropped down, right? I mean, over time, they've continuously gone uh, down in price. Uh, Jacob DeGrom kind of fluctuated a little bit, but this will allow people some more opportunities and people should be playing this event or at least some people in the community will be playing this thing over the holidays and trying to get, you know, some of these rewards. But I was just talking about these uh, or at least the rewards in the event for the streak rewards, the change in some of this stuff. I just realized recently that they added a bunch of gold rounds. This will certainly help with uh, stage four team affinity exchanges as well i guess really all the stages for those exchanges but i think that if you're able to kind of get a streak together get some gold cards that might help you there um in this case you can get two gold cards for six wins and that might be you know uh, about 30 to 40 percent depending on who you get for those exchange points or at least a voucher in one of those team affinities but that's really going to do it for this video, man. I'm a little disappointed. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the Justin Verlander. I'm going to let my order uh, sit there for a little, a little bit and uh, 
try and see if uh, people are taking them down. I know Jake Arrieta's price is at a million. I know Cody Bellinger's price is at a million. I'm going to at least try and get 20 wins to get that Bellinger, but we'll have to see on the other rewards. Thank you all for uh, taking a look at this video. Hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. Let me know your thoughts about the cards as well, and peace out.